Water, the key to all life on Earth, society's most precious resource, and the modern convenience we take for granted more than any other. That should come as no surprise, because Oklahoma City's water system has delivered clean, reliable, affordable water for more than 120 years. The story of our water supply begins just two months after the land run of 1889. Under the scorching summer sun, pioneers drilled the city's first water source. It was one well near the Santa Fe Depot, and new citizens lined up to buy water by the bucket from the station master's wife. Since then, Oklahoma City has built a sophisticated water system to keep pace with the needs of an ever-growing population. Lake Overholzer was completed in 1918 and Lake Hefner in 1947, specifically to store water for residents. By the early 1950s, Oklahoma City began receiving water from Lake Canton, a Corps of Engineers reservoir in northwestern Oklahoma, and city leaders started making plans for future water sources. The city purchased land and built Lake Atoka in southeastern Oklahoma and its companion, Lake Stanley Draper, in Oklahoma City. Around the same time, the federal government began building reservoirs in southeastern Oklahoma, including McGee Creek Reservoir and Sardis Lake, to control floods and store water for many of the state's communities, especially those in the arid regions in central Oklahoma. While still in the planning stages, state and city representatives asked the U.S. Congress to enlarge Lake Sardis in order to store water for central Oklahoma's future. The request was approved, and Lake Sardis was completed in 1982. McGee Creek Lake was completed in 1986, and Oklahoma City has used its water ever since. This long-standing arrangement proves that water can be delivered from southeastern Oklahoma with no impact on its beautiful scenery or recreational facilities. Water supply lakes are the lifeblood of Oklahoma City and many other communities. Water is essential to daily life, to our homes, our businesses, and our growing economy, none of which could exist without a reliable, sustainable water supply. Water powers our farms and ranches, ensuring a steady supply of food. Water sustains our health and keeps us safe. We owe a debt of gratitude to Oklahoma's forefathers, including Carl Albert, Stanley Draper, and Robert S. Kerr for their forward thinking and careful water planning. But without planning of our own, we could exceed our current water capacity by about 2030. That sounds like a long time from now, but planning for a water supply and its delivery system takes a decade or more. So the time to begin planning is now. This will ensure our grandchildren and great-grandchildren will also enjoy a dependable and ample municipal water supply. We'll plan our water supply while being mindful of and with great sensitivity to Oklahoma's natural environment. We'll continue to use water wisely and encourage citizens to be efficient in their daily water use, both today and in the future.